Hey guys, good morning. I'm Abhimanyu. I have totally 10 years experience in IT. First five years I was worked as a Oracle Labs developer. Currently I'm working in Oracle Fusion. Uh, today class we are talking about the Oracle Enterprise structure in your Fusion. So before starting into the class, we will check out the layout difference between the older version and the newer version in the Oracle Fusion. So in the older version, they have only the two layouts. One is a panel, another one is a banner. Now they have introduced a new new layout which is called as a news feed okay we will check about how it look likes so just i'm exiting from my sandbox so first i will check for the older version so this is the older version springboard so if you are checking for the navigator so go to the navigator so this is the navigator appearance so when we are coming to the newer version see it's totally different so this is the news feed so if you can click and you can change whatever maybe you want so if you are checking the navigator so the navigator also they have changed the appearance this is the difference in the layout okay let's start our enterprise structure so enterprise structure in oracle fusion so in the enterprise structure so it will fall first is enterprise another one is a division Below the division is a legal entity. Below the legal entity is a business unit. Below the business unit, it's a department. Okay, enterprise. If I am starting my company, so I have to name my company. That will come under the enterprise. So the headquarters will come under the under the enterprise. Okay, then division. So for example, we are taking as a t, uh, taking a TCS. So TCS, it's like a top. So the enterprise name for uh, name is TCS. Okay, so the division. So in the TCS, we have a two different. One is for IT, another one is for Tata Motors. So in the division, uh, in the TCS enterprise, I have a two different division, which is for IT, another one is for Tata Motors. So legal entity. So legal entity is like uh, wherever you are, uh, the tax, tax and uh, say I have a different location. I have a business in India, I have a business in UK and I have a business in Australia. So depends upon the location and the currency that tax and the income and the assert and the liability and accepts, uh, ex, uh, sorry, expense account, everything will differ. So the legal entity, uh, under the division, we may have more than one legal entities, okay? Then the business unit. So who is who was worked in the Oracle, Oracle apps 11i or R12, they already know about the operating unit. So here the operating unit is called as a business unit. So final layer is like a department. So the department is nothing nothing but it's an organization in R12 or 11i, okay? So here the department will come under say i have it's like a in i have a hr a hr department i have a sales department i have a marketing department so three different organization i have so this is called a department okay so just we will check how we have to define the same thing in that application so first we will check out the example see so oracle fusion in fusion corporation which is my enterprise under my enterprise, I have a three different division. One is for US, another one for U Europe, another one for Middle East. Okay. So under US, I have one legal entity and one business unit. Under the Europe also, I have two different legal entities. One for UK, one for France. So in that, each has a business unit. So under the business unit, I have a department. See, I have a sales department. I have a marketing department. In the same way, in Europe division also, I have one marketing department so we will uh, we will define the same structure in the, our application so this is the example i am taking for this class c so tcs enterprise is an enterprise name so under the enterprise i have a two different division one is for tvcs division another one for tata motor division under the tcs division i have a two different legal entity one is for tcs legal entity another one for tcs it legal entity under this, we have a two different business business unit. Under the business unit, we have a departments. The same way for Tata Motor also, I have only one legal entity. Under one legal entity, I have a business unit. Under business unit, I have a sales and mechanic department. Okay. We will define, define this enterprise structure in our application. Okay. First, we will go to the setup and maintenance page. So, for defining enterprise structure, we have to go to the workforce development so i know where it is uh, go to the functional area of enterprise profile click on all tasks 
so here we can find out the established enterprise structure okay so if you are new to the cloud you doesn't know where it is exactly because we cannot remember everything right so just you can type establish so it will it will show where exactly it will be there see establish enterprise structures so click on establish enterprise structure so it is under enterprise profile and enter establish enterprise structures so click on it so we are making this setup in our application okay tcs enterprise so already we have some vision corporation so i am clicking the click a new one so what is our name tcs enterprise right tcs so tcs enterprise for tcs so click on ok so enterprise name is tcs enterprise short name i am giving as a tcs ent1 okay primary industry so your company is under which which category you can cho choose either it is a mining or manufacturing or retail or transport just i'm taking for i'm registering my company as a, it's like a manufacturing okay so the headquarters country i am checking for india just i'm choosing India as my headquarters. So the legal entity. I told you right. First we have to define our enterprise. For that enterprise also we have a legal information. So for this one I am making as a TCS enterprise LE. So identifier I make it as a just I am giving some number. Okay. So what is the legal address for this enterprise? I am creating a new location. I am choosing as a Bangalore. Bangalore address one. So city. So I am defining as a Bangalore. So pin code. Just I am making randomly. I am choosing some. Okay. The state is Karnataka. click on okay so i have defined the legal entity also so now i am choosing the more than one legal entity so see here i have enterprise i have a two different division so if you have only one legal entity you have choose you can choose a second option we have a three different right see one two three three different legal entity we have so i am choosing a first option so click on next so it will show the legal entities for it okay so now we have to define uh, define the division for it so here in tcs i have a two different division one for tcs division another one for tata motor division just i am creating a new division so one for tcs division uh, just i am copying the name into the description field i am putting as india I'm choosing the same location, Bangalore. If you want to choose for a different location, you can also you can also create a new location for another division. Another is Tata Motors. I'm copying the name to the description. The country I'm choosing as India. Location also I am making as India, Bangalore. So if you want to choose for some other location also, you can create a new location. So we have created a division for it. See, we defined the enterprise. Now we created the division. Now we have to create a legal entity. So we'll 
this legal entity is created for enterprise level okay so while in the first page we given that uh, legal entity name also right so that is for default for our enterprise so if you want to create for automatic click on uh, automatic okay so already we have a legal entity for tcs enterprise now i'm just clicking for tata motors and tcs division click on okay so it will create two so one for division and one for tata motor uh, one for tata motors okay just i'm changing the name tcs le under tcs division tcs le right tcs division tcs le so i'm giving some other name 568 568 568 i'm choosing a legal address as a bangalore so in our division we have uh, tcs division we have one more legal entity tcs it legal entity so i am clicking a new hey, one second let me complete for tata motors this is tata motor le right so tata motor le 986 just i am giving a dummy number so this is for legally registered with the uh, government they will give a number so that uh, we can update it okay so here I am for testing purpose just I am giving a dummy number so now we are going to create a legal entity for TCS division so location is India sorry guys I have a problem with my mouse so click on India so our legal entity TCS ITLE TCS ITLE so it will come under below the our TCS division so I'm giving randomly I'm giving some number I'm choosing a location as a Bangalore click on OK so now we have created our enterprise then division and the legal entity now we are going to create for business unit as well so if you want to create automatically just click on everything then automatically it will create so click on next see for each legal entity it's automatically create the business unit so one for TCS business unit another for TCS IT business unit see one for Tata Motors one for Tata Motors business unit so I will give a okay Tata Motor business unit another one for TCS IT business unit so TCS IT business unit another one for TCS business unit so this is for TCS business unit this is for our enterprise we have enterprise structure top right so for that enterprise structure one more business unit okay so click on next so if you want to create a manual you can create a manual also okay so reference it so for reference it we will have a one more class because it's a uh, reference it is nothing but it's like a sharing or restricting our data okay depends upon the re reference rate we have a two different reference set which is a common uh, which is a system system one one is a common reference set another one is a enterprise reference set so for the each legal entity we are creating a new reference set so this with this reference set we can either we can restrict restrict or share the data to the other business units okay so we will have one more class for that reference set alone so this is the business unit so Tata Motors so this is the Tata Motor reference set so this is for TCS TCS IT LE reference set this is for TCS LE reference set this is for Tata Enterprise so if you want you can choose it for a common set common set or enterprise set also if you are if you want to uh, share the data between your business unit to other business unit you can make it as a common data common a common data set also okay then click on next so the click on next hey, sorry this is for Bangalore location I'm making as a common common set because the Bangalore only we are using it right so for that location I'm making it as a, uh, making a data set as a common set so click on next so this is like a review page see 
so tcs enterprise this is our enterprise under that enterprise we have a two different divisions two different divisions under the two different different division we have a four legal entities under the four legal entity we have a four different business unit under the business unit we have a departments so that we will see so this is the reference that we are using it so if you want to see the data in the graphical mode click on management reporting structure this is like everything this is by row wise right see this is like structure see this is our enterprise under the enterprise we have a division click on plus symbol so it will show you that a legal entity just we will fit fit for the screen so this is like fit for our screen so here also we have a legal entity see two different legal entity we can change whatever we can change the layout depends upon either you can minimize it or you can maximize it okay so i am clicking on save and close see we have our tcs enterprise structure we have created so i didn't load it this one because i have already loaded my the enterprise configuration for my fusion application if you want to just load just click on load it will load this configuration to your fusion application yeah that's all about the enterprise configuration uh, thanks for watching my video so in the below the description i given my the blog address as well there you can find that find more details about the more topics and all in the fusion okay thanks for watching thanks for watching